Hey guys, Camille here. After 74, 75 videos, I have my first guest on my show. I don't really have a show, but you know, these are the videos I do every day. Um, I want to introduce everyone to Lee Williams. Lee, can you, you know, tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, uh, my name is Lee. I am 21 years old. I am from Scotland. Uh, I met Camille in the hostel that we live at, and he asked me to join him on his uh, YouTube video to discuss the randomness of life. So the other day, Lee and I you know, had a great conversation about how random events lead to you know certain places in your life or certain moments in your life, and you can't really plan you know everything you know you can't control everything you want. So you know here we're in Australia on a working holiday visa. Um, you know Lee, what you know what events shaped you know your decision to come here, and you know how, how did you get to be here? Um, so I. A couple years ago I went to the States and traveled across America in a tour group with um, people from all over the world but mostly Australia and the UK and one of the people on that tour group was an Australian girl from Perth and I ended up you know getting together with her and you know moving to Australia after that after the States okay. so after we traveled across there I went home to Scotland for a few months saved up and then moved to Perth and lived there for around six months and then that relationship ended and I decided I would then move to Melbourne to try and see what else the country has to offer. So I did that and moved into a hostel called Landing Pads. And in that hostel I met a ton of great friends and you know people that you know are really interesting and uh, one of the people I met was the hostel owner Matt who then uh, told me about his new hostel he's opening up in Brunswick which I then decided I would you know, help him set up and you know, be one of the first people to live there. Yeah. So I did that and I kind of saw it get built from the ground up and you were also one of the first people to move in and we ended up sharing a room together and uh, yeah, it's been, it's been smooth sailing ever since, my friend. <laughs> yes, it has. Yeah. Um, so, you know, before you came over to Australia on yeah. a working holiday visa, was that ever in the plans to come to Australia no. with like a visa? No, it wasn't. Uh, I hadn't even heard of it until, you know, I met this Australian girl and then I tried to figure out a way to get over here. Um, so I hadn't really thought about it at all. Like, okay. I probably would have done it, I would have done it in the future at some point, but it was never in the, on the agenda okay. until um, that whole situation came up. So um, yeah, I'd never thought about it. Gotcha. Uh, so <laughs> let's say you're not in Australia. So actually you mentioned earlier today that this is your one year anniversary of being in Australia. In Australia, yeah. yeah, I arrived about a year ago today, um, which is insane. So. Yeah, thank <laughs> Yeah, it's crazy. Um, so, you arrived, you know, a year ago. Um, if you weren't here in Australia on a visa, you know, what would you be doing back home in Scotland? Um, or in, back, in Scotland? I would probably be working and saving up or saving for some other kind of traveling. I don't know, I would have probably been, I wanted to travel Europe and I wanted to see more of Asia, but I don't really know. Maybe I would have been studying, or maybe I would have been doing something else. But I mean, I ended up doing this, so this is all I know. Yeah. Okay. And then you know, <laughs> we're talking about you know, big events like here coming to Australia on a visa, but also here in you know landing pads. Yeah. Um, you said you met Matt, and then yeah. that's how you came to Brunswick as yeah, well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then also, you know, here in landing pads, if, you know, we randomly got assigned to rooms, mm. you know, uh, room two, five, male dorm, you know, would we have, like, you know, the same friendship and, like, would we be doing this video? I would hope so, Camille. I would <laughs> hope so. Uh, I don't know. It's hard to kind of, hard to say. I think so. It's quite a small hostel, you know, you would definitely have, but maybe there wouldn't have been, we might not be making this video, you know. Yeah. But, uh, no, I don't know. It's a good question. I think that it's kind of like one event leads to another, you know, so from America to Perth to landing pads one to landing pads two to you know it all leads to something else yeah. and I think this is one of the things that has led to you know very very beautiful friendship yeah and I, I do believe that you know everything happens for a reason yep um, so I know. yep it's absolutely true and yeah it's worked out worked out well yeah and um, some you know an action step for you you know some closing thoughts is you know 
I think it's natural for everyone to plan out their lives and like, you know, I want this goal by age 30 or, you know, in five years I want to be here, but there's all these little random events that happen. You meet somebody, you, you know, meet a, a friend yeah. and they kind of shape your path for the next year or two. That's and true. so I think, you know, look back over the last month, last six months, last year, and think about those random mm -hmm. events that change your trajectory and, you know, where you're going in life. Yeah. Um, and let me know in the comments what you thought about. Lee, any closing thoughts? Just don't do drugs. That's pretty much it, you know? Or do them. Either way, you'll have fun. <laughs> um, and one last thing is, you know, here we're recording a video. Um, the picnic bench we were on recording a previous video was overtaken by a couple, uh, a big party. Yep. So we got a little self-conscious and here we are sitting in front we're of a tree. We're too shy, too we're nervous. Too shy. <laughs> so we had to go into a good corner Some of the park. Serious self-confidence issues here guys <laughs> yeah but you know it's, it's a work in progress it's fine we'll get there <laughs> thanks guys it's been a pleasure see you everyone bye